guys, Mix Media Girl here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I mix paint for acrylic pouring. And I'm using Mixed Media Girl Pouring Medium. This is an acrylic based medium that you can mix with any acrylic paint whatsoever to make it into something that is pourable. So I'm using actually three different brands of paint here to show you the, the slight differences between how you mix the different paints. The first one is Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics uh, Rose Gold. The second one here is Soho Cadmium Blue Green Light Hue from Jerry's Artorama. And then you can see this really, it's really thick compared to that first one. And then I have Amsterdam Acrylics Titanium White, which is actually in between these two in terms of thickness. Um, so I mix these with two thirds pouring medium to one third paint. And I always start off with that ratio. You may have noticed I put the pouring medium in the cup first. That's because it's the thinner of the two and that then it just helps to get an easier mix. Um, and then I stir those together completely. At this point, um, depending on how thick the paint is, I will know if I need to add more pouring medium or even a little bit of water. So these second two paints, the Soho and the Amsterdam, were both pretty thick. So I added just a little bit of water to each of them. Now keep in mind with water, you can always add more. You can't take it back out. So do just a very little bit at a time, less than you think you need to, until you get to the right consistency. And we're going for the consistency of, people say warm honey, um, you can think like heavy whipping cream. So it'll be thicker than water, definitely, but not too thick that it's hard to pour. Like you don't want a yogurt consistency generally. Um, but people do have different thoughts on what consistencies they like, so that's kind of up to you. If your paint is getting all muddy, your paint is generally too thin. Um, if your paints, if you're not getting cells, then your paints are generally too thick. So you can kind of use that as a little bit of a gauge and then just try to make your paints all the same consistency. So now I'm going to go ahead and use these paints in a pour and I'm using the three colors that I just mixed up plus um, some of my Mixed Media Girl pouring paint, the deep sea color. And I think this is just a gorgeous color combination. And I'm doing a pretty simple technique here. This is a uh, wrecked tree ring. So I fill up my cup with enough paint to cover my canvas. I'm using a 10 by 10 inch canvas, which takes a little bit over six ounces of paint. And then I pour in the center of the canvas in a circular fashion, which is how you get that tree ring technique. And it's named because it looks like tree rings <laughs> at the end. And then to wreck it, I took a stick and I ran it through there in some kind of wavy lines. This is definitely not necessary, but I think it just gives that technique a little something extra. Then I tilted until I was happy with the design. Now, in terms of the paints that you're using, as you can see here, I'm using four different brands all together. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You can mix and match brands. You just want to keep about the same consistency. Also keep in mind, um, certain paints are known to cause cells um, like this rose gold that I used here is one of them. It absolutely can contribute to causing cells and I knew that going into this piece and expected that and so I was pretty happy with it. Also mixing up your paint right before you pour can cause kind of some cells that are more like pinholes because of the air bubbles in the paint so I recommend letting the paint sit before pouring. Here's how the piece looks dried. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you all next time.